Did you know that in many number sets, the first digit is more likely to be small, like one or two, than it is to be large? This concept is called Benford's Law and holds true for things as diverse as total charges in an electrical bill or street addresses. And this pattern, Benford's Law, is very helpful when doing fraud analysis. In fact, you can compare the distribution or counts of all of the first digits of your numbers against the expected or normal distributions that Benford said we should see. And if the numbers in your data set are very different, let's say you have lots of seven, eight, and nine digits and not very many ones and twos, then you might suspect that your data are either not accurate or may have even been tampered with. And that's what fraud examiners often do. We're going to show you how easy it is to do this calculation and examination of your data in Alteryx. In less than 10 minutes, we'll build you a solution that you can compare any number distribution or any data set that you might have to Benford's expected distribution and know whether your data match that expect expectation or not. We're now going to take a look at how you can build a very simple analysis to run a comparison of your numbers against Benford's law and his expected distribution or count of first digits. It doesn't take very long and there aren't very many tools, so we'll show you how to do that. The first thing is you just bring in your data in whatever format that data might be in. So here I've got a sample accounts receivable file and I'm going to uh, run my analysis on this. Next we're going to bring in a formula tool. So we're going to connect our formula tool in and we're going to just isolate our first digit of our number that we're interested in investigating. So we can just call this field first digit. And we are going to use the left function to pull off the first character. So left basically will take any number of characters that you specify from the left hand side or beginning part of your string. So we can pull this in from, we're going to um, look at invoice amount. So we'll click on invoice amount and we're just going to take that first digit. And we can make this a string with just a single character because that's all we're bringing in. Now you may not notice that when I click off of this, I'm, you might get an error. The first digit function we've uh, built here, in order to use left, your field must be a string. If this is still stored as a number, you would simply need to use a select tool prior to your formula or use the function to string to convert your number into a string. So you could convert any um, field that is actually a, still a number to a string and then pull the first digit off. Or you could use a select tool to, to do that same option. So once you either have converted to a string um, or used your select tool, you can use that left function to pull off the first digit. Then once we have that first digit isolated, we are going to do two summaries. We are going to do a summary here where we group by the first digit, right? First digit. And we count each of the number of records that occurs for each of those first digits. So by grouping by first digit, this is going to count all records that have a first digit of one, then count all records that have a first digit of two. And we need to compare that to the total number of records that we have in our data set. So we're going to just drop a second summarize and simply do count. And this means that we are going to actually have a count of all of our records and then a count of each, uh, a count of records for each first digit. And we need to do this because in order to compare to Benford's ideal distribution or that ideal spread of, of counts for each first digit, we need to make it into a proportion, right? We can't just compare our counts because those counts will vary hugely based on the size of your data set. What we want to look at is what percentage of records are um, beginning with a one versus beginning with a two. So Benford says about 30% on average should begin with a one. So we want to see what percent in our data begin with a one. So once you've done this, in order to calculate that percentage, we just need to append our total to our count for each first digit. 
So we can use the append fields tool here. And what we're going to do with the append fields tool is we're going to bring in this total record count. So we can call this total records. And that's going to append the count of our total records onto every record that's generated by our summarize. So we go, can go ahead and run this and see what we've created so far. And we see here, right, for our first digit, we have 103 records, and our total number of records is 2,466. So now that we have appended our total and we've summarized for each of our first digits, we can do another simple calculation. The simple calculation we can call proportion and we'll make that a float since it's going to have lots of decimal places. And then we simply are going to divide our first digit count here, the count for each of the first digits, by the total records that we have. And this creates a percent or proportion of each for each first digit. And then our last step is to simply compare those proportions to the expected proportions as written by Benford's law. So I have these in a little text file here, and I can share that text file afterward, or we'll also share the packaged workflow. But you'll see that first digits show up about 30% of the time, whereas nines only show up um, less than 5% of the time. And we want to see how much that might vary from our sample. So I'm going to, again, use a simple join here instead of our append. And I'm going to join in Benford's distribution to my distribution by aligning on the first digit. So this means that his distribution for one first digits will line up with our distribution for one first digits. And then I can simply run this. And I have a great comparison here. Now, you'll see here, I got an error because joins can only join on the same field type, right? Strings join to strings and um, numbers join to numbers. And we can see that because this is just a text input, it read that first digit in as a byte, which is a number type. So I can drop a select tool here, and I can simply convert this from a byte into a string, and then run this again, and our join will work perfectly. So here we can see that this is the proportion that is um, in my data set compared to the proportion that would be expected from Benford's. And we can see there's a large difference here. And so we might want to investigate why our um, proportions of first digits of one is so different from Benford's. And as we scroll down, we can see that actually um, we end up with quite a different distribution than would be expected from Benford's, which would give us pause to investigate the source of this to see if we could identify if there's been any fraudulent activity or there might be errors or limits to our data set that we also might want to consider. So hopefully you find this useful. And if you um, want to put this into practice, we will share um, this packaged workflow and you're welcome to use it uh, for your own Benford's analysis.